All right, God bless you. Let me, let me do this. I dealt this with it before. See, uh, first of all, numerology is a lie. It's an outright, bald-faced lie. Numerology is a lie. They say, the number means this. And because of the number, this going to happen. Science, statistics show that that's a lie. Remember the, remember the number 21? The, where the number 20? Let's go back to 2020. You numerology lying devil, you. Remember the number 20? Y'all, all, all, the pre, all them preachers. Praise God. All them preachers. Mostly our pastors, I said our, at the beginning of the year 2020, they use numerology and say the number 20 means this. So all this stuff going to happen because this is the year 2020 and the number 20 means this. Law, look what happened in the year 2020 and not a one of them using the number 20 said the truth about what was going to happen. Statistically, Numerology is a lie. Well, number 20 means this. So, so this is the year 2020. So that means this going to happen and all this going to happen. Happen for who? Who you talking about? And the opposite happened. The same thing was the same thing with astrology or zodiac signs. Well, Aries and and, and, and Sagittarius and this and this and you that follow the sign statistically and I challenged someone a number of years ago yeah, yeah we stopped Tilo Mao his, his mouth stopped but I challenged someone a number of years ago on the zodiac sign I say you said well this sign is this this sign is this what about the Folks that got the same signs that's a mass murderer and a rapist and a child molester and they under that same sign. Now, what's you going to say about that? Since the sign means something. <laughs> Statistically, that don't pan it out. Uh, now, Let's understand what a fault probably is. A fault in the book of Deuteronomy. Not only Deuteronomy, but, uh, but uh, in Jeremiah and Isaiah. God said, don't believe them probably. I didn't say them, but yet they went. For if I had said them, they would have turned men from their iniquity. That's what true prophets do. Tell you to turn from your iniquity. Uh -huh. Now a false prophet don't have to prophesy nothing to you. According to the scripture. But if they prophesy something to you. And it don't happen. In the 18th chapter of the book of Deuteronomy. They lied. God didn't speak. They told a lie. Both folks. They call themselves prophets. They, they lie all the time. Most, most church prophets. They ain't number liars. Get up for a congregation of 500 people. The Lord said, this year, this is going to happen. You talking 500 people. Who you talking to? And some of those 500 people died. And it didn't happen. You're a liar. All right, well, let's understand. But and most don't have the gift of divination. They come from the devil. They come from Satan. At least they're good in the 16th chapter of Acts. At least she was telling the truth. She was telling fortune. She was telling the truth. 
And when that devil was cast out of her, she couldn't tell no more fortunes. But she was of the devil. Uh -huh. Well, why did, well, why, did, she told the truth about Paul then. Yes, she did tell the truth about Paul then, but what was she doing? She was alerting the enemy, pointing them out. That's what she was doing, alerting the enemy. Remember Peter I know and Paul I know, and, but who are you? Most, most people don't have no divination. Okay, psychic. Them psychic getting your money. Them psychics getting your money. They getting your money. They ain't telling you nothing. Now, people that really have that spirit that's of the devil, yes, they can tell you stuff. And they do not serve the true and living God. They do not preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. And they they gonna let you know that they don't. And most of that stuff that stuff that they hit is staged anyway. It's been proven. Praise God. Now I understand what a false prophet is. A false prophet don't have to prophesy nothing to you. All he got to do is to call himself a prophet and teach you. To live contrary to the word of God. Just like that woman that called herself a prophetess. That's all he got to do. It, 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 it teach you to live contrary to the word of God. The scriptures say do this. But no, you do this. That's a false prophet. He don't have to prophesy nothing. You, you understand the, the Bible says, if there were false prophets among the people, even that there shall be false teachers among you. False teachers and false prophets, it's the same thing. One verse said, they prophesy lies in my name. Same thing. Pray to God. Hallelujah. And some come disguised and tell you everything you want to hear. But here, one sure, sure thing. One thing was certain, two things was sure. See what happened when the company of getting money. See them, all the so called ghosts they have go leave. And the true self come out. And all see if they point to themselves as some great one. All right. That's enough of that. We just want to give you understanding. Give you a little word this evening. That's enough. Thank you for that.